What's up guys, it's Rumbling Man coming to you today from Florida and in this video we're going to check out an amazing and stunning pedal, the LPD Choya. Check it out. Guys, welcome to the channel today. Really appreciate you being here, and I really appreciate uh, Lawrence Petros uh, sending this out for review today. Uh, this LPD stands for Lawrence Petros Design, for those who aren't uh, familiar with his pedals yet, and he makes amazing pedals. They are solid artisan hand-built pedals uh, right here in the United States of America in Arizona. And the beauty of Arizona and the inspiration from um, the world that Lawrence has around him out there really comes through in his designs of these pedals. I mean, they're absolutely uh, beautiful and stunning. A camera could never do it justice, just the way it sparkles uh, and the artwork, the way it comes through. Um, with names like the Javelina, the Choya, and the Cocopelli, uh, he really preserves uh, his Arizona heritage and legacy uh, in each pedal uh, he makes. And if you've been out there, it's a beautiful part of the world. I toured out there for many years. Uh, and so to have a little taste of the beauty of Arizona uh, right here in my room in Florida uh, is a really cool blessing. So this Choya pedal is an overdrive boost pedal and it's exactly what I've been looking for uh, for my pedal board because I've got drive but I needed a little something extra, something to boost it and to kick it uh, into a more beautiful overdriven sound for leads um, or heavy rock or things of that nature. But it's not just a pedal for heavy rock tones. I mean this, it's one knob but this knob I mean, the beautiful tones you can get from great bluesy leads all the way down here to uh, overdriven rock all the way up here. It's really incredible. And this pedal actually has uh, 27 decibels uh, of pure gain um, available. So for my needs with my current pedal board, it was exactly what I needed. And I want to show you today uh, some of the um, array of sounds that you can get with the LPD Choya. Uh, first, let's do kind of a bluesy uh, demo. I'm really a big fan of the kind of blues uh, guitar playing, you know, where they kick on the overdrive and then they just lose control and it's not even blues anymore. So I'm going to try to simulate some of that. First down here on the neck pickup of my Telecaster, I'll let you hear this beautiful sound I've discovered with this pedal. Uh, and then up here uh, with the bridge pickup of my Telecaster and let you hear some of the wide uh, range of sounds and distortion boosts that you can get with this thing. For the demo today, uh, we're running the pedal in the effects loop uh, for the Line 6 HX stop, which we're using for delays, amp modeling, and reverb. So uh, for this first demo, I'm just going to have this and the stop going and you can see how awesome this sounds. Mm -hmm. And it's not only a heavy hitting rock pedal. I mean, uh, you know, I play praise and worship music and I find that the kind of drive sound that this gives you uh, is perfect for ambient music if you want to kick in a little drive into the ambience. <laughs>
when you hear me adjust the pedal, you will hear a slight rustling sound, but this is actually by design uh, because as the gain is increased on this thing, it's actually modifying multiple circuit parameters at the same time uh, to give you the sound you're looking for. And I love the ambient worship style tones. Uh, they're really cool, but this is actually a great pedal to put uh, in front uh, of your amplifier to get a big fat driven sound out of it. I mean, this thing at the minimum can go through uh, nice cleaner overdrive gain to uh, up here pushed mids. If you think of your favorite class A tube amp turned up to 10, that's the kind of sound this thing gives you. But I really love it because it has a unique voice all of its own. Uh, it sounds different. It has this real beauty to the drive, uh, unlike any other pedal I've ever used before. I think it's really nice. And I love some of the funkier uh, kind of rock overdriven sounds that you could get with this thing uh, just by pushing whatever gain you're already using with the Choya. Uh, for instance, check this out. So real quick, what I want to do is I want to let you hear how I'm using it with my pedal board right now uh, because it's filling a void, uh, if you will. It is, uh, it's meeting a need that I kind of had that I was cutting corners to adjust and this just fits on there nicely in terms of uh, compact size and it fits in the sound so perfectly, so beautifully. So I'm going to set it up, I'm going to put it on the board and plug everything up and kind of let you uh, hear how I'm using uh, the Choya pedal right now and we'll be using it uh, tomorrow morning in worship service at my church. Check it out. All right, so we're now looking at my pedal board as it currently is which is officially uh, phase two. Uh, sorry I don't have more lighting on my pedal board right now. It's kind of a dark and stormy day outside, but I've got the best I can. Now here's how it's all routed. Um, I'm running the guitar, my Telecaster, straight into the Boss VF50 volume pedal. And from there I'm going into the Rowan tuner, up into the Boss GE7 equalizer, seven band, and then I'm going from there into the Choya and then I'm going straight into the Stomp. And then uh, the blocks that are actually in the Stomp software would have that input first, followed by compression, um, followed by uh, an effects loop which has the Vintage Overdrive by Behringer and the Boss Super Chorus. So the reason I have it set up this way is so that I can use the Choya specifically to drive uh, the other sounds within. Now I can use it by itself and it sounds absolutely wonderful. So here's my clean tone. Step on the Choya. And then in the uh, the HX stomp, I have amp simulator, amp modeling. It's doing kind of a matchless amp um, along with a, a reverb mix that uh, kind of enhances the mix of the reverb. Then just a simple delay. And so that's my current setup. So I really love to use the Choya alone by itself. It adds a beautiful sound and when I do it on both pickups of the Telecaster, um, the drive it uh, it exposes, and the mid-range it exposes actually kind of gives the Tele almost kind of a Strat sound. Especially if I turn the pedal down a bit. So the ultimate mission uh, that I'm using it for, however, is to drive the other drives I've got going on. So uh, I've got a little bit of drive on the patch setting, just a little of the amp drive up, just so that I can do clean tones and then push it and get some crunch. And then I have the uh, Behringer Vintage uh, Tube Overdrive uh, TO800, which kind of simulates it. 
Ibanez Tube Screamer. You can actually see my review of this pedal. Very cool. Uh, it's an overdrive pedal that sounds pretty decent for $24. And then if I want some really good overdrive boost in there... <laughs> So guys, Lawrence Petros himself personally builds signs and dates uh, each Choya uh, that he sends out. Uh, so you know that you're getting great customer care. Also, if you check out their website, he's got his email address uh, posted on there where you can actually get in touch with him personally uh, if you have any questions for him. Uh, really great company. Um, I actually met Lawrence himself at the NAMM show uh, back in January 2019. I was walking down a hallway and it was like a divine appointment, man. There was Philip McKnight, who's one of my very favorite YouTubers, uh, chilling with Lawrence Petro. So I got to talk with them for a while. So Lawrence, thank you so much for uh, sending this out uh, to me for review. I love this pedal. It is beautiful. I would like a copy of every single LPD pedal and just fill my board with them. Get a bigger board and fill it with them. You know what I mean? Uh, so incredibly cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really honored. And, and it's just... You know, one of the things that gets me is it's not only a breathtaking sound, but it's a breathtaking appearance. This camera could never do it justice. What an amazing, amazing pedal. So if you want to get yours, there's a link in the description where you can do so. I've also got links in there to uh, Lawrence Petros Designs social media where you can follow him and check out more of his pedals uh, online. You want to see more pedal reviews, want to see Rumbling Man uh, review more of these pedals, then hit Lawrence up and say, hey, I want to see Rumbling Man review this one. And who knows, maybe he'll send it my way. Uh, but guys, as always, God bless you. And thanks so much for coming uh, to this channel today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this demo, go on and give me a thumbs up button. If you want to see more pedal reviews, guitar reviews, bass reviews, studio equipment reviews, uh, gear tutorials, etc., please subscribe to the Rumbling Man channel. I'm also on social media. There's links in the description to my Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. And I would love to stay in touch. I'm also on a couple of crowdfunding websites uh, such as Patreon and PayPal, and the reason is because I'm currently running my channel on zero budget. And so if you'd be interested in becoming one of my patrons, I could really use your help, and I've got some neat rewards and stuff in the tiers that you could check out on my Patreon page. However, there's never any pressure to do that as we're all just trying to do the best we can to uh, pursue the things we love and make a dime, and I just appreciate you checking out the video and subscribing and telling your friends. So uh, thanks for hanging with me on the channel today, and I will see you on the next video.